Another eBay delight, uh, 3 watt um, mains voltage, 240 volt, warm white LED lamp, and this is really attractive, I mean visually it's stunning. It's got the little, little um, inverted cone reflector on the side that projects the light out sideways, plus it also fires quite a lot down the way. So what's inside? Well let's take it apart and find out, shall we? So. This bit unscrews, and when it does, it reveals a 3 watt LED, a standard star type 3 watt LED, but not screwed down or anything, it's just pressed against the heat sink um, by the fact that the, the cover contains this little separate plastic, well, the light guide, I suppose. And when the cover's screwed on, it pushes down hard against the centre of the LED, well not the very centre, but the rim around the LED, and pushes the LED's circuit board and heatsink onto the aluminium casing, which is thinned. Um, okay, so the power supply now. Inside is a scary amount of, well, a scary lack of insulation. Um, it's that horrible yellow tape they use in transformer windings that's about, well it's thinner than sellotape, it feels, it doesn't feel very good at all. And inside is a switching regulator, which is current regulated I'm guessing. I think that's current regulated. Yes, it must be. Um, and it's got a full bridge rectifier with two diodes on either side. No filtering, but then again it's not a very high load and I suppose they're really just thinking of space more than anything else. It's got a 4.7 megafarad capacitor, which is typical for a low wattage lamp. That's actually quite a generous capacitor for a 3 watt lamp, but then having said that, it's a very common value of capacitor used in compact flu fluorescent lamps as well. The switching appears to be done by a chip which will also be dealing with the current monitoring um, I'm guessing, now I don't know if there's a, a, I don't see the usual resistor you'd expect, although I do see the transformer at a jaunty angle um, showing surface mount components underneath it. Normally what would happen is the current would be sensed the current flow will be sensed across the resistor, but having said that, I think they're using something devious here. I might be wrong, and they're monitoring monitoring it via the load in the primary side of the transformer. I'm not 100% sure. I don't know if the transformer is a full isolation transformer. So I'm going to find out, and that's to use a meter. Let's find out. If the transformer, well let's stick that to ohms, is got the output isolated from the input side. Oh, this is a bit footry. Well, that's a very high resistance reading, it's not. Immediately indicative that there's a direct electrical connection across. Let's try another channel. Well, it looks as though it may be isolated, which is quite good, um, particularly given the LED is mounted directly onto the touchable uh, heat sink. Yeah, that looks like it's isolated. So, I don't see a, a feedback, I don't see um, an opto-isolator, so I'm guessing that the detection of the current is probably based on the load in this small transformer, uh, and maybe a sort of monitoring winding. Yeah, interest. It's quite an attractive little light. Um, this appears to be glass, which is nice. Um, and it's siliconed, ooh, or glued anyway, into this little aluminium frame. Yeah, you know what? This is quite neat. I quite like this. It's just, it's just very stylish. Yep, that's good. I like that. Um, probably an electrical death trap, really, and probably quite electrically noisy um, from an interference perspective, but I quite like it. Yeah, it's good.